Who? What's going on, guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Gamer, and this is Ether One. Uh, I talked about this a few times um, in previous videos of uh, about the fact that I was wanting to play this game. Uh, I've been keeping track of it for the past month or so, and uh, I've been really intrigued as to how uh, this game will turn out. For some reason, the music isn't playing right now. I'm not really sure why, but. Uh, yeah, so I haven't played anything so far. From what I understand, this is a puzzle-based game. It uh, kind of has a lot of psychological element elements as well, and it's kind of story-based. A lot of people are saying that it reminds them of uh, Dear Esther, which I never played, but I, it was that was developed by the Chinese Room, which they also made Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Uh, but back to Dear Esther, you know, it's kind of it seems to be half and half. Some people think it's amazing, others hate it. I never got around to playing it, so I don't know. But, uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna stop wasting your time, and let's get this started. Uh, are you sure you wanna use this slot? Both men- yeah, go ahead. Fuck it, I don't care. Hey, it's me. Listen, I- I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just- God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do it, but, but Jesus, do, do you know how they view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. I have to say, I'm impressed by the voice acting. Holy shit. I'm gonna turn on subtitles, though, if there are any. Uh, would it be in gameplay? Yeah, subtitles. There we are. Okay, um... Yeah, that works. Frame rate's a little iffy for me at the moment, though. I'm a little concerned about that. I might lock it at 30. Yeah, I think I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and lock the frame rate at 30 and actually you know what fuck that shit I'll, uh, if it gets to be a real problem I'll, I'll do that in the next video the right trigger to interact yeah I'm, there we go so evidently this is also in a futuristic sort of setting fade in music okay they're doing subtitles for that even in the mid 19th century advances in genetic and psychological sciences Jesus. led to a series of astounding God, this game, I mean, I've only played like a minute of it so far. But this is really well produced. I'm really impressed. Like, I'm, I wasn't expecting this. I really wasn't. Is that? It is. Oh, this is excellent. We're so glad to have oh. you back. My name is Dr. Edmund. I can't type. You can call me Phyllis if you like. Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card oh, from the top drawer the and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. Why am I doing this? Fuck this, open the drawers. Open. How do I... Do I take it? I don't know. shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems we best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to oh, see and go. discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you. Or our client. Okay, I'm when holding... Oh, all right. Chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind... Would you be a deer and head on down? The restorer. The next step in human evolution. Restoration floor. Alright, when holding an object, use the, the X button world. to examine it. Alright, well I've already figured that out. Is there a way to... No, that's not it. But I think I can open it though. Awesome! Okay, click the right trigger to take this item. Left trigger to put it back. 
fairly simple stuff, I'd say. I'm not really 100% sure exactly what the objective is supposed to be for this game. Um, as I said, it's supposed to be like, you know, telling some sort of story, I think. And there's optional puzzles you can do, and I'll, I'll try to do the puzzles. I'm not the best at solving puzzles and shit like that. It's not really my forte, but uh, if I'm capable of doing it, then I will. Um, sometimes these procedures don't, uh, how should I put it, go to plan. But really, there's nothing to see here anyway. Shouldn't you be heading to Restoration Chamber number three to meet me? Alright then, bitch. Getting all fucking uppity. Better be careful, I'll give you a slap. You know what? Fuck it, I'm taking this. This is mine now. No, no, wait, I want the card. I want the card. Okay, can I not sprint? I don't think I can. Okay. Uh, restorers may only carry one item. Place the key card in the zone before you pick up the reel. Okay. Wait. There we go. It's mine now. Give me that shit. Put it in there. Come on, put it in there. Put it in! Won't let me put it in for some reason. I'm a little confused. Then what am I... The fuck? Then what do I do here? Oh. Well, here's the thing. Okay, terminal, Ether Solution 5.1. Uh, Ether Solution 5.1 has shown significant improvements over its predecessors. There is currently only a 20 to 1 chance that negative and detrimental co uh, cognitive uh, effects will impair participants when taken regularly. Positive effects include superior long and short term memory, which directly aids in reducing, con aids. reducing confusion and hysteria. The only major concern so far is how long the effects of the new solution last. A high dosage can have serious effects on the liver and heart, and I fear a long-term subscription would induce similar problems within patients. Alright, well, that didn't really do much for me. What do I do? Maybe pull... Mm-hmm. Okay. Fuck it. I'm incredibly excited I'm so to get started stupid. with my new patient. A real chance to explore more what and prove that they're in fact fun. <laughs> I'm incredibly excited to get started with my new patient. A real chance to explore the what and okay, so they're in fact fun. Maybe there's some way I'm supposed to fix the projector. I do have the key card. Maybe use that on something. I don't see how that would No, wait. I'm God damn it. Shit. excited to get started with my new patient. A real chance to explore the what and prove that they're in fact fun. I guess this isn't the right room. Like, that was just kind of like a little thing that I do. Where do I go then? Help me! Okay. Um. Maybe go back to where I was? God, I'm going to have to edit the fuck out of this video. <laughs> if I move faster, it probably would be easier. 
for me to do this. It wouldn't be as, as uh, frustrating. Alright, I guess, uh, yeah, I'll go down here. I don't want to go down in that area, though. That would not be good. I would die. Alright, then. I'm not a big fan of the whole walking thing. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a fort! It's my fort. No girls allowed. With their cooties and whatnot. HIV. I mean, wait, no, that's, that's not cooties. That's a real... That's a real illness. I, I don't want to... I don't want... No, that would be bad. Okay. That's a restoration chamber. That's a restoration chamber. Fuck it, let's go to this restoration chamber. No, no, I want that. I want that. Nothing? Okay. Ah, oh, just a whole bunch of nothing. What else? Oh, more stuff. Okay, report projection malfunction. Uh, due to a bad projection, R157 has suffered severe hem uh, hemorrhaging in the brain. This has resulted in a minor stroke impacting our patient's motor abilities. The investigation is still underway, although evidence points to a fault within the cerebral component of the restoration chair. Patient one f uh, R157 is currently in the recovery chamber and, depending upon uh, treatment, may have sustained damage to memory functions. Alright, so I guess I gotta go down to the, uh, third restoration chamber. Lights. Alright, well, better than what happened in Montes. Which I will get to, I promise. I just I got a lot of stuff I'm doing right now. It's like three fucking games, man. Here's Jesus Christ. A miracle of the 20th century. A window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. Alright. Press and right. hold the right... Would you be a deer and help me with the setup? I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. Nah, fuck that shit. I want to read this. Okay, domestic report. Jean, or Jane Thornton. Uh, clinical diagnosis. Dementia with Louis Bodies. Uh, recommended treatment E1567. Solution subscription and restoration therapy. Doesn't really do anything for me. I don't know. Um, press and hold the right trigger, trigger to identify objects of interest. Holding the right trigger. Holding it. It's not doing anything. You're you're a liar. You lied to me, game. Fuck you. Okay. Uh Restorers may only carry one item. Place item in the zone before you pick up the fuse. Okay. Nope, nope. Put it back. Mine now. Give it. Oh, what happens if I press this? For God's sake. Why can't anything work around here? Okay. We need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse. By the computers over there. One twenty A fuse. Three hundred A fuse. 300, 75, 75, what, um, that's a 75A, okay, so, yeah, there we go, perfect, I did it, yes, okay, so, we gotta put this fuse in there, and then that turns on the power, I guess, there we go. Give me that. It's mine. So, what happens now? 
Do I go? Oh, okay. I guess I'll sit in the chair. Um, before I take a seat, uh, I think that I'll make mention of something. This isn't really the same type of game as Montas, so I don't really know if face cam is appropriate for it. So if you guys don't want face cam, just put in the comments that I'm a faggot and that you hope I die of cancer and all that. And, uh, that I, you know, all, all that regular stuff and how you hate face cam. And I'll take out face cam if enough people don't want it. Um, I don't know if it'll, it, face cam might still be in the next video. I'm not really sure if I record right after this, it will be. So... Rest assured, if there's enough people, eventually it'll be gone. Okay, so, sit. Right. A few things before we project. Our client, Jean, is currently in a very delicate state. Our primary focus is to ensure that we clear this area of her mind from the plaque buildup that is causing the disease. In order to do that from within, we're going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the medical treatment she's receiving. What's happening? Am I dying? What is that noise? Why am I- God damn, this is looking around so slowly. I'm just moving around the fucking stick. Fucking just 360 here. Well, not 360, but whatever. That's how slow it's moving. Are you ready? Sure. Let's go for it. I'm drowning. That is an interesting form of therapy. Being murdered. Okay. Alright, so this is starting to make sense, actually. So basically, you're a patient at, like, a hospital or whatever. Um, I didn't gather everything. But you are a patient, and you're going through some sort of treatment or therapy. And uh, you go in... Obviously, this is a futuristic sort of setting. So um, you're going into all these different sorts of areas. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess to just help you with whatever issue you're going through. I don't, re I don't really know everything, but, um, yeah, so that's, that's what's happening, basically. Um, what's down here? What's the back button? Ooh. Alright, that's a safe. I don't know what that, yeah, I can't really do anything with that. Ooh, shower. That water is terrible. It's a terrible water supply. Who's doing the plumbing out here, man? Jesus. Alright, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video, and, uh, we'll get right into all the relevant stuff, uh, outside of this prologue here in the next one so if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and all that and i will see you guys next time